So there was recently a blog post talking about the future and the present of geometry nodes, and there's a lot to go over here, so I thought I would just talk about it very quickly in an edited format. The first thing we have is simulation nodes. This has already been integrated in 3.5 alpha. You can see people have made a bunch of stuff with this. Um, a simulation node is the concept of having a simulation input, a simulation output, some operation in between, and this operation is going to be calculated every single frame, taking information from the past and incorporating incorporating it into the next frame. So you say, I have a position here, now update it to the next frame, now take this information, update it to the next frame again and again and again. Uh, so simulation nodes already exists. There's talk about setting a clock for simulation that's outside of animation time. So instead of going frame by frame by frame per update, we have its own clock that says this is the physics time and it's separate from animation time and we can have these things interact and stuff like this. Now on the stuff that is going to be implemented and I'm very excited about this, we have loops, uh, specifically serial and parallel loops. What a serial loop is going to be is, again, just like simulation uh, nodes, we're going to have an input and an output, and we put a function or a series of operations in between. And what a serial loop does is it does whatever operation we say it does over and over and over again for a set number of iterations in the same frame. So again, simulation nodes relies on taking information from one frame to the next, to the next, to the next. Iterations take place over frames. A serial loop is going to happen within a single frame. So this is going to be useful for making a calculation, uh, making a certain geometry that we don't want to take frames to get to. Um, serial loops. And then on the other hand, we have parallel loops, which is a similar idea, except instead of doing things in sequential, sequentially, right? Like a serially sequential order, a uh, parallel loops can do multiple computations at the same time, which is useful if you need things to be computed within the same like time state so that they could then interact together. So it's not one after another after another, you can do things in parallel. Now there's going to be loops within loops within loops within simulation nodes. Everything is going to be compatible within each other. Um, I could see the simulation uh, being kind of the outside thing. And then there's going to be loops on the inside that calculate within a frame. And then as the simulation goes, we Go, go frame by frame by frame. It's kind of complicated. If you don't know like for loops versus, you know, other kinds of loops, it's kind of like complicated to understand what the difference is. Uh, but I think we can already put simulation nodes inside of simulation nodes. So I think there is an uh, impetus for this being in the future. And I think uh, the rest of this is really just examples of people doing things with things. Um, I think final thing, uh, by the way, is we're going to be able to freeze a geometry nodes tree. So we can say freeze it here. Uh, we can make an edit. Um, like going into edit mode or something like this, we can bake and then continue the tree. So we have this idea of loops, we have this idea of simulations, and we have this idea of freezing. And this is kind of the stuff that's going to be new to geometry nodes. I just wanted to quickly say that.